Hello students, welcome to the course on solutions. In previous video, we have discussed about one of the colligative property that is elevation in boiling point. So, elevation in boiling point, it is nothing but upon addition of a non-volatile solute to an solvent, the boiling point of that solution increases and that increase in boiling point of the solution upon addition of the solute is said to be elevation in boiling point and it is denoted as delta Tb. Okay, so we have derived the expression for the boiling point, elevation of boiling point for a solution. When the mass of the solvent and molar mass of the solute is given at that condition, how to calculate the elevation of boiling point? For that, we have derived an equation and that is given by delta Tb is equal to Kf into W2 into 1000 whole divided by M2 into W1. So this is the equation that we have derived in the previous video. By using this derivation or by using this formula, we will solve the problem based on elevation of boiling point. Okay. So let us see the problem. The boiling point of benzene is 353.23 Kelvin when 1.80 gram of a non-volatile solute was dissolved in 90 gram of benzene the boiling point is raised to 354.11 Kelvin calculate the molar mass of the solute and Kb for benzene is 2.53 Kelvin kg per mole so this is the problem and they ask you to calculate the molar mass of the solute ok so they have given first or to get the molar mass of the solute first write down what they have given after that we will use this formula and then on simplification we will get the molar mass of the solute so what they have given write it down first the boiling point of benzene is 353.23 Kelvin. So, this is the pure benzene. They have not mentioned it as a solution. Means before addition of a solute to the solvent, the solvent is benzene. Okay. So, the pure solvent, that is pure benzene, its boiling point is 353.23 Kelvin. That is, they have given. And the boiling point of pure solvent is represented as Tb0. Okay. And that is equal to 353.23 Kelvin. And next, when 1.80 gram of a non-volatile solute was dissolved in 90 gram of benzene. So here two weights are given. Okay, one is 1.80 gram and another one is 90 gram. Among these two, okay, 1.80 gram, it is the mass of a solute. 1.80 gram is a mass of non-volatile solute. So, the mass of non-volatile solute is denoted as W2. And that is equal to how much? 1.80 80 gram. So this is the mass of the solute. Then it is dissolved in 90 gram of benzene. As I have already told you, benzene is the solvent in this question. So mass of solvent is given. That is mass of benzene. That is denoted as W1 is equal to how much? 90 gram. 90 gram they have taken 90 gram of benzene and to that benzene they have added 1.80 gram of a solute which is non-volatile. Now as you already know upon addition of a non-volatile solute to the pure solvent 
that boiling point of that pure solvent gets increases. So here also the same thing will happen upon addition of that non-volatile solute to the benzene. The boiling point is rise to 354.11 Kelvin. Initially, you can observe here the boiling point is 353.23 Kelvin. But on addition of solute, its boiling point rises to 354.11 Kelvin. Okay, so the boiling point has been raised. Now calculate the molar mass of the solute and before that, write down the boiling point is raised to 354.11 Kelvin means they have given the boiling point of the solution boiling point of the solution that is represented as Tb that is equal to how much? 354.11 Kelvin ok then calculate the molar mass of the solute given Kb for benzene is 2.53 Kb means elevation constant or abelioscopic constant so the value of Kb for benzene is 2.53 Kelvin kg per mole calculate the molar mass of the solute the molar mass of the solute it is denoted as M2 molar mass of the solute is denoted as M2 that is equal to question mark so that you need to find so now use the formula of elevation of boiling point what is the expression delta Tb is equal to Kf sorry Kb into make it Kb this one Kb that is ebulloscopic constant so delta Tb is equal to Kb into W2 into 1000 whole divided by M2 into W1 just rearrange this equation because we need to find M2 that is molar mass of the solute so upon rearranging the equation becomes M2 is equal to Kb into W2 into 1000 divided by M sorry delta Tb is equal into W1 Okay, this is the expression. Now, you have the value of Kb, the value of W2, mass of the solute, W1, that is mass of the solvent. Then what is delta Tb? Delta Tb means elevation in boiling point. But they have not given the value of delta Tb. But they have given the boiling point of the pure solvent and the boiling point of the solution by using these two values you can easily find the value of delta Tb that is delta Tb is equal to Tb minus Tb0 Tb means boiling point of solution Tb0 boiling point of pure solvent so Tb value is 354.11 Kelvin 354.11 minus Tb0 is 353.23 353.23 Kelvin so on subtracting the delta Tb value becomes 0 0.88 Kelvin ok now you have the value of delta Tb also now substitute all these values in this equation then what you will get M2 is equal to Kb means how much it is 2.53 2.53 into W2 is 1.80 into 1000 whole divided by delta Tb just now you have calculated that is 0. 8.8 into W1 mass of the benzene that is 90 gram so on simplification all these things you will get the molar mass of the solute 
as 58 grams per mole. Okay, so this is the molar mass of the given non-volatile solute which is added to the benzene in order to increase the boiling point of the benzene. So this is how you can solve the problems based upon the given things in the problem. Now the next example of an colligative property is depression of the freezing point. Okay, so one colligative property is relative lowering of vapor pressure. That shows upon addition of non-volatile solute, the vapor pressure of the solution decreases. Okay, and the another one is upon addition of non-volatile solute due to the decrease in the vapor pressure of the solvent, the boiling point of the solution increases and that is known as elevation of boiling point. And the next one is depression of freezing point. So in this depression of freezing point, upon addition of non-volatile solute, what happens to the freezing point of the pure solvent? So here I have taken the water as a pure solvent and you know the freezing point of the water is 0 degree Celsius or you can say 273.15 Kelvin. This is the freezing point of water. Now the addition of a non-volatile solute to this solvent that is water. What happens to the freezing point of this water? Will it be increases or decreases? So here upon addition of non-volatile solute the vapor pressure of the solvent gets decreases and when the vapor pressure of the solvent decreases its freezing point will also decreases because the freezing point of a solution is defined as the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the solvent which is present in liquid phase gets equal to the vapor pressure of the solvent which is present in solid phase. Okay, so when the vapor pressure of the same solvent in liquid phase and vapor pressure of the same solvent in solid phase, when both becomes equal to each other, then at that temperature we will call it as freezing point for example water and ice okay water and ice when they are in equilibrium see water it is present in liquid form at normal temperature i have taken the liquid water and ice it is the solid form of water okay now ice has certain vapor pressure and water which is present in liquid form it will also have certain vapor pressure now i have taken the liquid water and upon addition of a non volatile solute the vapor pressure of the water gets decreases and hence to freeze this water we have to cool it as lower temperature then only the vapor pressure of water present in liquid phase becomes equal to the vapor pressure of ice which is present in solid phase and at that temperature the water will start to freeze. Okay? Simply remember freezing point of a solvent is nothing but the temperature at which vapor pressure of the solvent which is present in liquid phase becomes equal to the vapor pressure of the solvent present in solid phase. Remember, here the solid and liquid both are of same components. Okay, they are not different components. The liquid, whatever component which is present in liquid phase, that is only present in solid phase. When the when the vapor pressure of both those solvents becomes equal then only 
they will start to any solvent will start to freeze and that temperature is said to be freezing point okay now upon addition of non volatile solute to the solvent the vapor pressure gets decreases and hence we have to freeze it at a very low temperature and hence the, the freezing point of the solution gets decreases that decrease in freezing point of the solution is said to be depression of freezing point which is denoted as delta pf okay the depression of freezing point is denoted as delta pf and here in this we can for the freezing point of the pure water or pure solvent it is denoted as pf not pf not means the freezing point of pure solvent that is denoted as tf not and tf is the freezing point of solution that means after the addition of a non volatile solute it will form a solution that solvent dissolves the solute in it and forms a solution when the solution has been formed its freezing point has been lowered and the freezing point of that solution is represented as tf that is freezing point of solution now if i want to calculate how much change in the freezing point has been occurred that for that we can use delta pf that is represented as delta pf that is depression of freezing point how much freezing point is lowered by the addition of non volatile solute to that solvent how we can calculate see in case of the delta tb we have taken tb minus tb not okay because tb first we have taken the boiling point of the solution and then subtracted it with the boiling point of the pure solvent because tb its value is higher as compared to the tb not that is boiling point of the pure solvent so in a higher value i have subtracted the lower value but here also we will do the same thing but first which one is to be taken tf or tf not which value is higher here which one is having higher the tf not or tf as you know tf not is freezing point of pure solvent upon addition of solute its freezing point decreases means the freezing point of solution is less as compared to the freezing point of pure solvent so we will subtract tf in tf not because tf not is having higher value and tf is having lower value so upon subtracting these two freezing points we will get the depression of a freezing point that is represented as delta tf now again the depression of freezing point it depends upon the number of solute particles which are present in the solution because if you add more and more solute into this solvent its freezing point go on decreases okay so it again depends upon the number of solute particles or quantity of solute that you have added to the solution and then we will consider when we say the quantity or the number of particles there we will include the term concentration so this depression of freezing point depends upon the number of solute particles instead of that we will call delta tf that is depression of freezing point is directly proportional to molality of the solution the small m is molality of the solution and i will remove proportionality sign and i will take a constant that is kf 
delta T F is equal to K F into M, where M is molar concentration, molar concentration, and K F is a constant known as molar depression constant. molar depression constant or cryoscopic constant cryoscopic constant okay so molar freezing constant molar freezing depression constant or you can also call it as cryoscopic constant and here also its unit is same as that of kb okay what is the unit of kb kb means Ergoscopic constant or molar elevation constant, and then the unit of KB is Kelvin kg per mole, and here also the unit of Kf is Kelvin kg per mole because delta Kb is also directly proportional to m, and delta Tf is also directly proportional to molar concentration of the solution. So the unit remains. Same that is Kelvin kg per mole, and this depression of freezing point can be observed or represented in this graph. So here, when we plot the graph of vapor pressure against the temperature in Kelvin, this green line or green curve indicates the freezing point of solvent, and this blue line or curve. represents the freezing point of solution so you can observe this one is freezing point of solution this one is freezing point of solvent which one is having higher value freezing point of solvent so if you consider this one as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 okay Simply, roughly, I have taken the values just to understand, make you understand. So here, the freezing point of the pure solvent is it will intersect here. So upon drawing the vertical line, it will intersect here. That gives five. And freezing point of solution is three. That is T F, and this one is T F naught. So five minus three. Delta T F. There you will get delta T F is equal to two. Okay. So the solvent freezing point is higher and solution freezing point is lower. So this is how we can understand the depression of freezing point graphically. Now here is the equation that we have derived from depression of freezing point. Now from this you can say. The freezing point, depression in freezing point is directly proportional to M, that is molar concentration. Now, if in the problems, if they have given the weight or mass of solute and mass of solvent, and asked to calculate what is the depression of a freezing point upon addition of one gram of solute, two gram of solute, or any amount of solute in the particular solvent. in such conditions we need to use some other form of this equation and now we will derive what is the formula which is used to calculate the molar mass of the solute or depression of freezing point when they have given the mass of the solute and solvent so similarly in previous video we have already derived the formula for elevation of boiling point in the same manner we will follow the steps and we will be we will derive the equation so let us see here in this equation molarity is given so what is molarity molarity is equal to number of moles of solute number of moles of solute that is denoted as n2 divided by mass of solvent mass of solvent in kg that is denoted as w1 
mass of solvent in kg. Now, here I will write number of moles of solute is N2 divided by mass of solvent in kg W1. But here in problems, they usually give the mass in terms of grams. And you need to calculate that gram into kg because the mass of solvent is in kg but in problems they will give the mass of solvent as well as solute in grams. So by in general we will convert this mass into kg by dividing it by 1000. So when we divide the mass which is given in grams by 1000 you will get the answer in terms of kg. So W1 divided by 1000. And what is N2? N2 means number of moles of solute. So how you will calculate the number of moles of solute? In the previous week, in the, while deriving the elevation of a boiling point, I have told the N2 is determined by that is number of moles. It can be determined by taking the given mass of the solute to the molar mass of the solute that is W2 divided by M2. So substitute that value in this equation. Instead of N2, I will write W2 divided by M2 whole divided by W1 divided by 1000. Okay, now what this equation becomes? W2, M2 will come here and 1000 will go up. So W2 into 1000 divided by M2 into W1. So this is molarity, okay, which includes mass of solute, mass of solvent, molar mass of solute. Now substitute the value of M in this equation, call this as equation 1. So substitute the value of M in this equation 1, what you will get? Delta Tm is equal to Kf into M means what? W2 into 1000 whole divided by M2 into W1. So this is the equation which is used to calculate the depression of a freezing point. And we can also rearrange this equation because in most of the cases they ask to find the molar mass of the solute in the examination. So rearranging this what you will get? M2 is equal to that Kf into W2 into 1000 divided by delta Tf into W1. So this is the formula to find the molar mass of the solute in case of depression of freezing point. By using depression of freezing point, we can calculate the molar mass of the solute. So, by using relative lowering of vapor pressure, we can able to find molar mass of the solute and by using elevation of boiling point as well as depression of freezing point, we can able to calculate molar mass of the solute that is M2 and as you already know, Kf is depression freezing constant, W2 is mass of solute 1000, delta Kf is depression of freezing point, W1 is mass of solvent and M2 is molar mass of the solute. So based on this we will solve the problems in next video.